Hello, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. I'm Jason Luntz. Today I came right down the street to this great bustling business. I'm at Greenfleet Bicycle Shop with the owner, Austin. How you doing? Good. Great to see you. Yeah, man, it's great. Um, now I know personally, I've been driving by here for a while and I remember even when right before you opened, I was excited because businesses like this lets me know the neighborhood is really growing. So just to jump right in, the first thing is, uh, why bicycles? Well, I've always been into bicycles even since I was a kid. I think, um, and then after college, I got into bicycles and I did a cross country charity ride and biked all around America, so. A cross country charity ride? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you gotta tell me more about that. <laughs> so we raised money for kids cancer research and we visited hospitals all around America and um, did a fundraiser for a local kid and then we would visit a place like Vanderbilt Children's and go in and give the kids some goodies and stuff. And our whole slogan there was, it's a long, hard ride, and we don't know how it's going to end, but we're going to have a, um, we're going to all be stronger at the end because of it. Man, that's so, great. That's great. So I got into bicycles after that and just realized how much you can experience on a bike, and so that really changed my life. And then after that, I, I came back to Nashville and um, started out here and um, just got into bikes. So now you're, um, this is not your first location. You were in another part of town initially? Yeah, so we were in Edge Hill, on Edge Hill Village for a little while, just off of Music Row. Okay. For four years in a little garage that was about the size of our repair area. Wow. <laughs> um, so we slowly kind of grew there, and, and we didn't intend to be a bicycle shop at first. We started as a messenger service doing deliveries really? by bicycle. So we have a bicycle courier service, um, and we deliver packages for attorneys and um, medical records and bank deposits and things like that. And then um, we started doing bicycle tours and taking people around the city. And then after that, people thought we were a bike shop. So we thought, well, why not? Let's just become a bike shop too. So, so now we do all those things. So you still have the messenger service? Yeah, so we still have that too. Oh man, that's great. Um, now, what made you decide to make the move over to uh, Jefferson Street in North Nashville? Yeah, so um, I've always loved Jefferson Street. I think the, the history is really rich here with yes. our um, Bicycle tours, a big part of our tour is to take people and show them what Nashville is. And I think being able to start a tour on Jefferson Street, you really couldn't start a tour in a better place in terms of telling people about the music history, mm -hmm. um, things that they don't always hear about. And when they go downtown on Broadway, they forget about other parts of town sometimes. Yeah. And so um, that was a reason. And then I, I think Jefferson Street's location, just in terms of being so close to the heart of downtown, um, makes it a perfect spot for bicycles, so. That's great, that's great. Now, as a business owner, um, do you also feel it's a good location? Yeah, we've been very pleased with the, the neighbors here, have been really welcoming. Um, this neighborhood has been, I would say, richer in terms of community than the neighborhood in Edge Hill because there's so many, um, you have a lot of businesses over there, but you don't have as many people that live over there. Yes. And so, when you're close to people that live in the neighborhood, that in terms of our business and bicycling is really important because people, um, you know, need their transportation and, and being close to where they live is, is important. In fact, well, speaking of that, let's talk about that for a moment. Um, so bicycling seems like it's gaining a lot of popularity. Um, what do you think the reason is that about health, is about the environment, is gas too high? I mean, I, I, I like to think of it as really simple. It's like in terms of what do you think is the most, what's the most enjoyable way you can get around, and you never really see somebody riding around on a bicycle with a grumpy face. No, you do not. <laughs> but you pass somebody in a car, and chances are they're not too happy about sitting in a car. Um, so, and nobody that's in a car wants to see more people in cars. There, you know, that's more traffic, and, and everybody on a bike, they want they want more people riding bikes. Right. You know, we all wave at each other. It's just like it's a good time. Wow. Um, so, and in, in addition to it being enjoyable, it's also healthy. It's not expensive. It's like got all these other ancillary benefits that make it, I think, the perfect transportation. So, man, that's great. It seems like you're right on time with this. Um, and I love the location. So, just to review, so you do messenger service, mm -hmm. you do tours, repair bikes, and you sell bikes. Yep. So we do new bikes, used bikes, any any bike you have, we can work on. And that's what Richard's doing back here, just kind of cranking away. Right so, here, yeah. cranking away, working. Um, now, if people want to find out more information, um, you have a website, social media? Yes, yeah, so our website is greenfleetbikes.com, and we do neighborhood rides every week. On okay. Wednesday, we call it our friendly night ride, and that's just kind of a neighborhood ride that is good for everybody, any level of bike. Um, and uh, 
we're open Monday through Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Ten to six. Monday through Friday. Okay. Monday through Saturday. Yeah. Ten to six. And then Sunday we're, we're taking the day off. Taking the day off. Yeah. yeah. Everyone deserves that. Um, now my last question before I let you go, I always like to ask people. Um, Nashville, it's city. It's growing. Um, how do you feel about the city as a whole as a business owner? I think Nashville has changed a lot since I started. We started in 2009, and mm -hmm. um, as I told you earlier, our business model has definitely changed. Yes. Which I think is a lot. Most small business owners experience that. But um, the city is, I would say, more dynamic than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. um, but it also, uh, you know, there's challenges with that, and there's more competition, which is really good for some people, and then it makes it harder for other people. So. It's hard for small businesses now to be as competitive because we have a lot of outside pressure. Yes. So in that regard, I think it's important for people to work together with their neighborhood small businesses. Um, and so that's what we try to do. And, and uh, you know, it's just all a matter of working together. So. Well, I think that you, you've got the correct model that you're right here in the heart of a community, a uh, historic community, and then you're working with the community. So I think that you're definitely going to have much success. Thanks a lot, definitely. Definitely. Appreciate it. Appreciate your time. And once again, you've been tuning to Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. See you next time.